Hi, everyone. It's March 22nd, 2011. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. And today, folks, I really hope that the three or four of you who watch this pass it on. And that was a joke. But please, pass this on, because honest to God here, this is the reason, the biggest reason, you should, in 2012, write my name in to be President of the United States. I have an economic solution to fix our economic woes. It will take a little time, but no extra cost to you, the taxpayer, the dwindling middle class, or the poor. And no, we're not even going to take a big chunk out of the wealthy doing it, but we are going to do something common sense. Now, it occurs to me, when you're building something, you build it from the bottom up. You don't start at the top and, and work your way down. Well, it's the same with a problem. You know, and yes, it's a very complex problem, but a complex problem is only, you know, it's a series of problems or a set of problems all of a sudden, they join together to make this big, complex problem. So, again, if you attack them one at a time and solve them, there's that magic word, the solution, there you go. Pretty quick, you've got a simple problem, and you fix the sucker. Bang, zoom, sayonara problem. It's the same with our economic woes. Uh, there's been report after report till boredom sets in, and tears and frustration, anger, which is what the the controllers really want is that anger, that that rage, because then they win because you will get even more conservative and say, This guy over here is the problem and you know, it's subterfuge. They're pointing over at this guy and it's them who's doing the bilking. And by them, what am I talking about here specifically? I'm talking about your bankers and your financiers. The people who sit on their lard asses all day, shuffle papers around, and get paid an ungodly amount of money for shuffling those fucking papers. Pardon the F-bomb there, but doggone it. Let's have a little sense here. And, you know, you've heard all the stories of the local towns and cities and states and everybody... Oh, they're all on the verge of bankruptcy, and you can't pay this debt, and we got to cut this pension fund. And cutting the pension fund is the bankers and the financiers' retribution for not letting them get their paws when on Social Security when George Bush tried to privatize it. There's that pool of money that they just know they should suck in, and we won't let them have it, and it pissed them off. Now, here's what we do. We've got all these homes in foreclosure, right? Well, you know, whichever bank gets them, charge them the friggin' property tax. The house is still right there, is it not? Get that damn tax every year. It's not off the tax rolls. It's off the ownership rolls. Well, the bank owns it. Let them pay the friggin' taxes on it. And don't let them say, we've got a thousand houses. How about a discount? No, you're going to charge the prime interest the prime tax on each and every one of them suckers. What will this do? It'll force the banks to lend a little money to businesses, small businesses that create jobs, or so we're told, right? <clears throat> so those small businesses can expand, hire people, people who can then buy those friggin' homes. Gee golly, it doesn't take a real math whiz to figure this out. But I'm telling you folks what it all is, realistically. Retribution. We wouldn't let them get their paws on our Social Security one way. So now they're saying on top of all these other crises, well, Social Security is a bankrupt thing. We, we just, no, oh, it's bad. It's only bad because we won't let the wealthy sons of bitches get their hands on it. Daryl Issa, who's a congressman, all these guys. You know, there's a guy who's got five, uh, roughly $500 million, okay, and yet he's working for 200000 a year. What's the, can you say, we've got a traitor in the midst. He's not looking out for you and me. 
he's looking out for himself and his rich, rich brethren. You want to look at the problems, check and see how many multimillionaires are in Congress, and then see if they want to come to your next family barbecue. I'm telling you, there's the whole damn crux of it. They're not looking out for us anymore because they ain't part of us. Well, it's time for one of us to be put in with them. Mix it up a little bit. And I'm not talking about the Sarah. I can see Russia from here, predatory type. I'm not talking the, I was a Vietnam POW. Pity, pity me, vote me in because, well, I just hate everybody. That type, you know, put one of us in with a little common sense a little reasoning, one who's not been bought and sold, who can't be bought and sold, who ain't afraid of being shot. That would be me, but I'm a schmuck. There's the name, write it in, 2012 for president, because honest to God, I've got a solution here. It won't cost you a dime, but it will take a little bit of time. Another thing is, I'd get us the hell out of all the stupid little idiotic wars. Who asked us to be Libya's freedom fighters? They want to get Gaddafi out of there. There's more than enough of them. You know it, I know it, we all know it. It's time for all our troops to come to hell home. We can use them here. Another economic solution. Instead of sending that money worldwide, we keep the money here. We spend the money here. I bet that would work a lot, too. What do you think? I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's today's Schmuck Look. Peace out there.